Hey now everyone, Matt Haywood from the Exclude Collective. You know me as Haywood Pop on Instagram. Doing a little tutorial on the Affinity Photo app for iOS devices today, more specifically for iPads, to show how I create lightsaber effects for my toy photography. So, I mean, obviously you, you may have your own methods, but I like editing on a mobile device because I work on a computer all day long, so I don't want to be sitting here working on my Mac all day. So for the toy hobby, I do like mobile devices, which is why I've relied on apps in the past. But now that I've found Affinity Photo, I think I have my full-on Photoshop-ish suite to use on the iPad. So today, like I said, we're going to add a lightsaber to this Luke shot. This is a SHF, or the Figure Arts Luke from The Last Jedi. And I did a little picture where I envisioned him holding his old green lightsaber. So let's get down to the lightsaber effect. All right, so the first thing you want to do is add a new pixel layer. So you can do that up at the top here, just add pixel layer. The reason you do that is so you're not doing anything destructive to the actual photo itself. From there, we're going to be using the pen tool, which is found on the left side towards the bottom. In particular, we'll be using the pen tool in line mode. This way you can draw extremely straight lines and not have to worry about them being wavy or whatnot. So... Using the Apple Pencil your finger, you just start one end of the line and drag it to where you want the line to end. This one, since his saber was already out of frame, was pretty easy. You just drew it straight up. Uh, you can increase the width there down the bottom panel. Um, obviously, that's up to you. I mean, a lot of the, these settings, I'm going to be honest with you, will come down to personal preference. Um, I tend to like a little thicker lightsaber. Some people may like thinner ones. You never know. So anyways, once you set on the width, you can also change its color. You're going to want to use white. That way you can apply effects to it and kind of get that, that glow effect going on. All right, so we have our line drawn. We're just kind of perfecting where it ends. Uh, sometimes I will extend the line past the lightsaber I don't want to call it the hilt, but the, the head of the lightsaber. That way I can go in and erase the bottom so it looks like it's truly coming out of the top and not just a, you know, a line being drawn out of the top. So sometimes I'll extend this bottom line a little bit below the top of the lightsaber. That way I have some, um, some of the line to work with to erase to create more of a, a flush, flat look at the lightsaber's head. Uh, like I said, this is all personal preference. I mean, I, I could spend days here. As you see, I'm already taking my time trying to get it lined up correctly. Uh, some people just drop it right on top. It probably doesn't matter. But if you really want to go for as close to realism as possible, you're going to want to take this line down a bit. That way you can come back a bit later and erase it and get a flat finish to the bottom point of the line, which I'm doing right now. So as you can see on that layer and Affinity does everything for me. It, it basically rasterizes it. Uh, I now selected the erase tool, and I have erased bottom parts of that lightsaber. So now you can see it's a little more flat. Luckily, Affinity has a really great undo redo system. So if you do make a mistake, you can just undo. Or if you made a mistake and undid it, but you want it back, you can also redo it. So I just go slowly here, trying to erase the base to provide the illusion that it's actually coming out of the lightsaber, not just a line drawn on top of it. It's up to you if you want to do it or not. Um, I like to do it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. On my pop shots, I usually leave that alone. All right, so as you can see, we now have our base layer for the lightsaber. Uh, I could manipulate that layer. I can add effects to it, which we'll be doing here shortly to add a little bit of a Gaussian blur as well as a, an outward glow. All right. So we got that squared away. As long as you have that line layer selected, you can hit the effects button, and then you want to select Gaussian Blur. I typically like setting the radius anywhere from 1.6 to 3.0 on the pixels for that. You then set the settings on your outer glow. The color is naturally going to be the color of the lightsaber you want. So in this case, we're using Luke's Jedi lightsaber, therefore I need a green look. Uh, as I said, a lot of this is up to personal preference. I'll set on that shade of green. Then to get it to show up, you can see you just got to add some radius. 
Uh, so again, on this first line layer, I'll typically do 40 to 50 pixels of radius. The intensity, I'll do anywhere from low 50s to low 60%. This just kind of gives you that inner shimmer, so you're going to get the white hot light part of the lightsaber as well as its green color shimmer from the glow. So once you have that figured out, now what you got to do is duplicate that entire line layer. So you're going to select that layer, do the triple button option up there at the top, and then select Duplicate. All right, after you duplicate, you're going to want to make sure that you're working on the new duplicated layer. And for its gosh and blur, you're going to want to up this a bit. And this is going to give you that, that really strong glow effect for the lightsaber. So on this second line layer, I usually do around 40 pixels of radius. It's all going to depend on your scenery and lighting, but 40 seems to work the best for me. On the outer glow, I will increase the radius again, typically from uh, high 60s, low 60s to 80 to 90 pixels. And I will increase the intensity anywhere from high 60s to uh, high 70% in terms of that setting. So you can see here now, we have a pretty strong white light glow, plus we have the green glow coming out of it, uh, giving you a pretty decent lightsaber effect. So that's all I got for you. You know, Once you're done there, you can save your image and share it on Instagram for a toy session. So thanks for watching again. This is Matt Haywood from the Exu Collective doing a quick tutorial to create lightsaber effects using Affinity Photo for the iPad.